Hi everyone, Sue's Journal Adventures here. Um, just a bit of a follow on from a yesterday's video. Um, well, it might not be yesterday. It might be the day before yesterday by the time I upload this. Um, but I did some, um, oh, what do you call it? I don't know, decoupage. Decoupaging with um, tissue and napkins the other day so all of all i'm doing is i'm coming back on just to show you what i've what i'm going to make with them and how i'm going to make it so because for the absolute beginners it's all right me just sitting there and saying well you can do this you can do that you can do the other but it's nice to actually see it happen isn't it i'll just take you up a little bit and just run down there go i think that's okay so with this one because um, I quite like how she is and I don't really want to lose any of it, I'm basically just going to make this into a journal card. Really simple, very, very easy. So I did the um, decoupaging of the napkin and now all I'm going to do is make her, because that's really pretty. It has got a few little little tiny crumples in it but i think that, add, that adds to the, the like aged effect um i'll keep them and i've got a journal card now it kind of bugs me that my lines are going that way and that won't fit on my project so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it that way because it doesn't really matter if you take it out of a pocket if you're going to journal on it, you're not really looking at which way the photograph goes. You're looking at which way the lines go. So I'm actually just going to stick that onto there. Probably with some fabric tack. Oh, that's the empty one. Um, and then that's pretty much done. If you want it that simple and easy. I've just come upstairs because I was really... I was really, really, really tired and I thought, oh, you know what, I'm just going to go get in bed and read. And then I came in here to put some stuff away because I've got a few new stuff delivered today. And I've ended up crafting. <laughs> Not only crafting, but doing a video. I'm like, so you was on your way to bed. It's, only, it's early though, it's only 20 to 9. But I am just really tired. But hey, now I'm crafting. So I'm just going to pop that on there as close to the edge as I can get it. Now there's a couple of things you can do with this. You can either, just put the lid on the glue, um, pretty much just leave that as is. I'll just trim the um, excess card off. You can pretty much leave that as is and call that done. And that is a pretty nice little journal card. Okay, bit of a boring journal card though, isn't it? It's pretty, it's got the flowers and the script and the lady and the writing space on the back. But for me, hmm, kind of needs something else. Uh, not sure what that something else is at the minute. I'm feeling that I could go around the edges with washi tape just to finish it off and just to seal the edges because oh yeah some of the edges are looking a little bit not stuck there i must not put enough glue on the um the card okay so i'm thinking i want to dress this up a little bit more so i keep getting that blooming thing out um i've got some minty green lace that's going to cover my flower though isn't it Hmm. don't really want to cover my flower don't really want to cover the script so I guess that's a bit of a no then um, let me have a look mint green I don't have much in mint green to be honest um, I'm thinking maybe because I've got quite a lot of this that that would look very nice maybe around the edge see for me i i don't like using loads of stuff like this 
I've said on the last video, I'm a bit tight with some of my stuff. I'm like, all that just for one journal card. But I think that looks quite pretty. The only thing I also bear in mind is if you're pushing it in and out of a pocket, this could get in the way. Um, 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 just a minute, I think, if I can stand up. Oh, gosh. Um, I've got this thin one. I think I might do some of that. Or oh, should we have? Oh, that's nice. I don't even remember. Where did I get that from? I don't even remember buying half of these stuff. That is very pretty. So I think I could have a bit of that across the bottom, which is uh, definitely happening. Shall I bring you down so you can see what I'm doing? <laughs> this is a totally unplanned video. I literally came in here to put some books away. I've just got a few books off um, eBay today. I will show you them in a minute because they're fantastic, J just in case. Um, you would like to know what they are. Is there a right side and a wrong side? Yes, there is. Um, yeah, I just got a couple of books today from eBay. They were only £2.40, £2 pence, I think, each. And I know, I mean, that's like a fiver for two books. I am fully aware you can get books in charity shops for like 50p. Um... And sometimes even less. I got somewhere it were five for a pound. So you can get some better bargains in charity shops. But the kind of books they are, they're just really cool. Um, I'll show you them in a minute. <laughs> I won't just tell you all this and then leave you sat there thinking, well, what were they like? What were they? Have I got enough of this? I think I have. I kind of want to put that on the bottom because it's, it's just pretty, pretty, pretty. But I might just put this around the rest of the edge, I think. Shall we just do it? Shall we just do it and not deliberate too much? So basically, this is just a journal card that will either be going in a pocket or a tuck spot. Whoops. Shall I just turn that around the right way then? Let me just chop that funny end off. Um, so yeah. And I don't want to kind of put it too much onto my picture because I don't really want to lose the picture or take from the picture. I might as well put it right on the end because that's right on. So yeah, I don't I hope you've all been having a nice day. I've um kind of been chilling a lot today, to be fair, because um, I'm trying my best to walk on my leg. I don't know if I said this on my last video, but I'm a firm believer that if you don't use it, you lose it. And I've got weak muscles anyway. So I think, well, if I'm not using them, surely they're just going to get weaker. So I am trying to walk on it. But it is, um, whoops, wrong way. Kind of a bit tiring and yeah. And I've got another cold. Oh, I can't seem to get rid of colds this year, me. Just like having a permanent one. So, so yeah, I'm just dressing this up a little bit. Making it pretty, pretty. Because we can make them as plain or as pretty as we wish. How can you see? Um, the flowers in the background that you're seeing. Um, those those are some new stencils I got from um, Shein. I had a load of points on Shein. So I thought, well, I need to use them. So I did. And I got these little stencils. I'll just show you these very quickly. Because, I mean, I like recommending bargains. And in my mind, this was a bargain. I think they were £3.50. But because I had points... I think I got them for like £1.50. And there's 24 different little flower stencils. And every single one of them is different. But they're just so pretty. They're all botanical, every single one of them. But 24 stencils for £3.50 is not bad, I don't think. But as I say, because I had points, I actually got them for, I think it were about £1.50. They're very small. They're not quite... Let me take you up a bit. And move that. They're not um they're not quite as big as my hand. They're just like 
small ones but really really nice if you're doing tags and you just want a bit of botanical stenciling in the background they're really really pretty 24 of them that's quite cool i think <laughs> so that's that's what that paper's about i've been playing with them the other day just uh well just trying them out really so yeah so that is that i'm just gonna because i've got a slight gap there I'm just going to, mm, maybe one of them. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. That's going to have to go in a tuck spot now because, um, mm, do I put it that way? How do I put it that way? It's meant to go that way, I think. Um, it's probably going to have to go in a tuck spot now because I've put this bulky thing on the bottom. So just pop that in uh, whilst I'm reaching for a bit of bling Oof. i've got some green bling um because there's green book page in the background and green leaves i think a green bling might look nice so just put a tiny bit of glue in there teeny tiny blob there we go there we go and the green bling it never wants to come off my finger and there we go that's done so that um collaged decoupage whatever you call it sorry napkin from the other day is now a journal card so that's one uh, the other thing was <laughs> was this that now actually looks like a total crumpled mess it was a piece of scrap paper and i just scrunched up some tissue on it don't look very good at the minute does it but i'm gonna get my bro broken china ink and all the little cream bits i'm gonna try and ink so that i cover them with the broken china because it's a similar blue to the napkin i might just stick that down a bit more actually um it just looks like something you should put in bin, really, doesn't it? Um, but it will become pretty. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> it will be pretty. So I'm just going to put some under there. Not that I can get to it very well. That's better. So, what I thought this would be because it's just a bit of scrap paper out of my bits box and I just squished a bit of tissue onto it because I wanted it crumpled. I wanted that crumpled texture. It looks a bit of a mess now, but let's just, um, let's just glue the edges because if it's going to be a pocket, it needs sticking down. Glue's not coming out very well tonight. But that'll do. Right. So we'll just close that up. And then I think I may just add a teeny bit of glue under there. I don't, don't normally use this glue for tissue. Actually, I'm not going to use that glue. I'm going to use this. Just to stick that bit down a bit more. It's still crumply, but I like I like it being a bit more covered. And I'm just going to really ink that bit a bit more. And actually, I'm going to chop that edge off. There we go. So we've got that, which doesn't look all that amazing at the moment, does it? <laughs> it really doesn't look that amazing, but it will do. It will do. It will do. I know I keep saying that, just crack on with it. So, right, so I've got this bit of lace here, which I tried on it yesterday and I quite liked. So I think I'm going for that, definitely. So let's get a bit of glue across the middle. Oh, that's why it's probably not coming out very well. I've got a bit of a glue bog. So because it's a bit bumpy, 
I'm just going to put a little bit of extra kind of glue on there just to hold that piece in place. So I'm going to put it like that and I'm going to trim the ends off when I'm ready. So I've gone around with the blue ink. I could actually technically go around with some brown ink as well. I just want a bit more under there because I can still see cream and I don't want to see cream. Could have sworn I've just stuck that bit down. Obviously not. Right, there we go. I'm actually going to ink the edges. Just made another sticky up bit now. Deary me, what am I like? <laughs> Can you guys even see what I'm doing? <laughs> am I even in screenshots? Not really, so. All right. I think that's a bit distracting, that, isn't it? Let me move that out of the way. Scrappy bit of paper. Um. Yeah. Oh, I'm putting glue there. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Be putting glue there. Oh dear me. There is no hope for me. So, uh, dobber. Right, so I'm just going to ink it all up now. Oh, I'm a silly girl. <laughs> I've put the. Well, this is a frilly edge as well, isn't it? I'm going to say I've put a frilly edge as my top, which is probably going to get pushed down a little bit when you're putting things in and out of the pocket so I am actually if this glue will come out tonight I should put a little bit of that there fabric a bit of fa <coughs> fabric tack there we go so that's that um that's not that that's the most boring pocket in the world isn't it it is a little pocket I think I might just try and ink that edge as well. Just so that when you do open it up to put something in it, it's not just the cream. There we go. Right, so have I got any turquoise blink? Oh my goodness, I have. <laughs> Shocker. Shocked me. Right, so I'm just going to go with some turquoise bling in the middle of the flowers I always add a bit more glue because these blings are not very sticky I don't know where my tweezers are I've got these weird ones these don't always work very good and I did actually break them I broke one tool trying to fix another tool <laughs> I'd used my like eyelet setter but I must have done something wrong and the eyelet got stuck on the post of the setter and I couldn't get it off. So I was trying to prise it off with these and bent these in the process. <laughs> oh dear me, what am I like? <laughs> Don't actually know sometimes. So there we go, it's not the most amazing thing on the planet but it is a pretty little pocket even if it just goes on the corner of a page. It's something, it's a decoration and it's a bit different. I suppose if you wish, you could make it into something else. Up to you. So that was number two. Number three was um, this. Right. Um, I need a piece of card. Card, card, any card. Shall we have a bit of, um, what's that there? I don't know what it is, but I love it. I'm loving that. It's not very good for a tag though, is it really? Have I got a piece of white card? I've got plenty of white paper. Well, oh, I've got these cards. This will do. Just tear one of them up. Right, so all I'm going to do with this is back it onto some card to give it some strength. Can you still see me? Right, so so this is a project we did the other day with book pages, fluff. How the heck have I got fluff on there? Um, book, we didn't do it with book pages and fluff, by the way. <laughs> we did it with um, napkins, tissues. It was a little project I did the other day. But I just thought I'd show, finish, finish it off and show you what I did. Because sometimes I finish things off camera 
and then I just show you the finished product but sometimes it's nice to see how you actually get to the finished product isn't it so this glue is just not playing ball at all lately I don't know unruly children oops glasses are still falling off it's because they're a bit um slack now at the moment but it doesn't matter right so this is not straight at all so what are you doing right so i'm just backing that onto card whether it's fully on the card fully stuck down um i'm not too fussed as long as the napkin bits stuck so i need ooh, put one away i need this now so all i'm gonna do and i need to measure um i need to measure me measure are you serious no i actually do need to measure um because i want this to be okay well i want it there so hmm i want a kind of a two and a half two and a half from there so i want it cut in there i need a pen or a pencil or something i always do things with my finger and then i can't see what i've done so about a two and a half so there and where's the end there okay so at least i know where to cut now i'm having a two and a half inch tag can you see <laughs> i'm not with it tonight am i really i did come in my in my defense i did come upstairs because i was tired and I was intending to go to bed until I saw the time and thought, what? I can't go to bed at 20 to 9. Well, I suppose you can if you're tired. But, um, yeah, me being me. I get very easily distracted, is all I can say. So I'm just going to cut that fluffy, woofy end off. Actually, that's where my flower is, isn't it? Never mind. I don't care at this point. <laughs> I don't care at this point, it's coming off. <laughs> Just, I don't know what to do with them bits at the moment. So, I've got that. And what's that going to be, you say? What's that? What is it? Well, I'm just going to get my um, fancy tag punch. I'm so chuffed with this. So chuffed. I saw, um, I watched a video the other week of someone else making tags and they were using this to shape the tops of them and I'm like, oh! wow because i'm really not good at cutting things um curved really not good so i do cut things curved i'm not very good at it so i just thought oh wow i want one of them so again i go to my usual ebay and people were asking 25 quid 30 quid and i'm like no nah, i don't need it that desperately oh gosh it's a bit too fat um I don't need it that desperately. Anyway, just on a whim, I went on um, AliExpress and I punched in tag punches. And guess what? <laughs> I got that for £9.98. So I was over the moon. I'm like, whoa, £9.98? 25 quid? I'm a happy girly. I just hope it cuts card. It should cut card if it's a tag maker, shouldn't it? Oh. Ooh. Oh my days! Ah. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Nine nine ninety eight. Absolute brilliant bargain. Love that. Oh wow, I'm really impressed with that. <laughs> um, there we go. Left a lid off something. So just going to get a bit of distressing ground espresso, which is pretty much what I always use. I don't know why I always use this. Probably just because it's there. I did always use vintage photo, but now I seem to um, this just be seems to be the one that's out on my desk. So it's the one that I use. I do like this if you want things really dark. Oh, flipping out the glasses are going again. If you want dark and grungy, the ground espresso is really nice. If you want lighter, not as grungy, vintage photo. Gathered twigs is also nice. 
and don't pay a fortune for Tim Ranger Distress Inks, have a look on eBay, you can get them cheap. Um, so, there we go. That is a beautiful little tag in its own right, and it now... Oh. <laughs> well, it did have some white card on the back. Now it's dirty card from all the mess on here. Oh, okay. Well, that's not very good, is it? Really? Okay, so what I'm going to do is... <laughs> there are no mistakes. No mistakes in crafting, okay? These things can be rectified. They can. It can and it will. Just you wait and see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to colorize the top of that tag. Getting bits coming off my thing now. In fact, I'm just going to colorize the whole thing. But then I think if I'm not wrong, I have a, yes, I do. A tiny piece of, oh my days, it just fits. <laughs> I couldn't have worked out that much better if I tried, could I? It's just a little bit long. So I'll just snip that end off on the line so I kind of get it straight. And even then I don't get it straight. So, right, there you go. Um, ink that. And I've just rectified the mess on the back. That was a white piece of card and I somehow managed to get loads of mess on it. That's what you get for having a messy mat because I've been gluing on it, I've been inking on it, I've been stamping on it. Tut, 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 Susan. You really should clean that mat. And when you're gluing, get your glue mat out. And when you're inking, get your ink mat out. That way... You won't make a mess of the back of things that you're making. Right, so just a bit of glue up and down, up and down, make sure it's on the edge. Can't even see this glue. There we go. So, that's the right way up. We'll have that. Actually, I could stamp around the edge. Ooh, hang fire. Hang fire, Mr. Fabri-Tac. Um, oh gosh, where are those little tiny flowers? Uh, I don't know where I've put them. Um, sorry, just bear with me a moment. I don't know where I've put them. Uh, oh, do you know what? Shall we not bother? Because by the time I've faffed about finding them. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, where are you, where are you? Oh, what is that? That's not a flower, is it? Neither is that, that's a bug. Butterfly, butterfly will do. Let's not get too fussy right now. Right. What's that? Oh, that's my bit of cat. <laughs> I'll just do it on the blooming desk and wipe it off after. Just have a few wonky, every which way, but whatever. Turn around. Um, stamped part butterflies. Because we've got flowers on the other side, so they don't need to be right on. Uh, a bit of his wing, a bit of him upside down. Hang on. Butterfly bottom. There we go. Butterfly wing. There we go. Done. Done, done. I need a bit more glue on there now because I'm pretty sure that will prick. Yeah, it has dried. Fabri Tech dries really quick. Oh, good grief. The glasses are driving me nuts. I did fix them, but because the um, the arms really slack, they still keep falling off. I can't wait to be able to just go out and walk and go and get some new glasses ordered because they are driving me crazy absolutely crazy i mean look at that how are you supposed to work with that <laughs> the wire trick did work but they're just a bit slack so i'll pop that on there preferably down a little bit so it's not sticking out on me shaped corners and there you go voila 
a tag. Now we could do more to it. You could add lace. You could add a flower. It's got flowers on it, but you could add, I don't know, something that's a bit big, but you could add more to it is what I'm saying. You could add some, I don't know, die cuts or something. No, why would you do that? You've already got flowers on there, silly girl. I've got um I've got a bird. I've got a bird. Oh he's cute. Oh, I like him. Little cutie pie. He just kind of looks a bit lost, doesn't he? Just dangling in midair. Um, so yeah, basically you can add to that if you want. I will probably add, oh, I've got some nice um oh, it would be right in the bottom, wouldn't it? Is that the blue? No, maybe not that one. Well, how about that one? That'll do. Just give me a bit of that. Don't need a lot, just a bit. There we go. We'll just have a bit of that. So this is, you know, decoupaging um, napkins and tissue. And you can just um, make little stuff out of what you've decoupaged. You can decoupage it. Didn't I? You can decoupage it and decorate it later when you're actually doing your journal and you know what you want on it. So, I am all fingers and thumbs tonight. Really? Yeah, but I had a fairly quiet day today. I had any visitors today. I was supposed to have some visitors, but um, I cancelled them because I've got a cold and I don't want to pass it on to anyone, so... I did cancel them. Um, there we go. Is it through? It is. Oh, seriously. What is wrong with you? You just don't want to go through that all, do you? But you are going through because I've put my mind up. Right, so there you go. Does anybody else talk to their projects like me? <laughs> talk to me ribbon. I talk to me tags. I talk to myself. There we go. There we go. That's a nice little tag out of our decoupage napkin and a book page. Back it onto a bit of card, stencil, stencil, stamp and a bit of journal space. So we've got our journal card, a tag and a rather funky looking pocket. <laughs> and then we also had um, this which I can't really do what I want to do with this until I actually put it into a journal. Because when I put it into a journal, I'm going to stick it down. But I'm going to put things on dangling from this bit. Um, or I might even put a pressed flower behind there because I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see it. So I can't really do anything with that apart from decorate the outside with maybe lace or something. Washi tape stickers so i can't really do anything with that until i put it in the book but i will show you me putting it in the book and this one well this one i actually wanted to die cut but i haven't got around to die cutting it because i didn't think i was going to make this video so <laughs> i didn't do it this was a very unplanned video so i'm just going to fold that so it's got a bit of strength I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try, she says. What's that, a wiggly line? That'll do. Because, okay, I'm gonna do scissors, which is not always a good idea for me, but I'm gonna do scissors. Right, so what I actually wanted with this little guy was a shaped pocket. And I have actually got a die that cuts a nice fancy scalloped corner pocket because I kind of want him because he's the main, he's the main attraction. So I'm just going to cut that again because I clearly haven't cut it straight. And that bit's getting cut off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go from here. Oops, that, well, well, that went well, didn't it? I'm just going to go from there, across there, and uh, keep going round and just moving it round. 
and see what happens. There we go. We've got a fancy corner pocket with a weird bit. So there we go. We've got that. I need to trim that off the bottom, that overhang. I usually just rub the overhang off with an emery board, but my emery board's a bit blunt at the minute. And I can't be bothered waddling up into the bedroom to get another one. So there we go. Simple tissue. Tissue, tissue. Put that away so I don't lose it. And I know where it is. I do, I do, I know where it is. Right, that's that. That's a pocket. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Again, you can add to it. You can add lace, buttons, bling ribbons whatever you want you can add to it it's just a little corner tuck pocket you could put it on some card and make it just a little bit stronger to be honest i think i probably should have done that but there we go so you can make a corner pocket as well um that is really not going to look right on there but just just an idea just a visual idea not that i'm actually doing it but just as something as simple as that can be your little pocket so that probably should be backed onto some card and i probably will and then i'll have to cut around that again but that's okay because we can do them things so that is that so all i'm going to do now is show you the books that i got that i was telling you i got on ebay just in case um anybody might want one of these books because they are absolutely fabulous and i'll tell you why they're fabulous so i got this one just let me take it up a little bit so as we can hopefully fit the book in because it's quite a tall book so this is wildflowers of britain it was on ebay and it was two pound what was it two pound 41 I love this book. I've already been ripping out and cutting stuff up. It's got of 850 species of wild flowers. I didn't even know there were that many wild flowers. But what I love about it is these pages. You can see I've already been I've already been ripping and cutting. So there's so many things you can do with this book. So for instance, if you cut that top part, and I'd probably leave the name on there cut that top part out as a long journal card but then you can cut that part out and stick it on the back and that's the description of your flower that you're looking at so if you wanted to cut that as a journal card what you could do and i think it's a very good idea is cut the bottom straight and the sides straight but then tab the top so what i would do if i've got a pencil is cut well you don't even need to cut that side I would come in there and I would cut like that at an angle. Can you see me? Cut at an angle, cut across that line, and then I would cut there at an angle and down there. So I'd make it like a little tab, like a, a record card, up, along and down and, and like that. So you've got that card. That is the description, so that can go on the back which would make a really, really cool little specimen card, I think. Not specimen card, record card. It's a record card of that plant, and that's telling you all about it. If, however, you want the record card with journal space on the back, then fine, you don't have to use that. You can use that for something else. You can use that just as a, a base for something that you're put, putting other things on. These... I think these would make fantastic little specimen cards. So if you leave a, a bit of white around the edge and then maybe stick them onto some card, put a little tab top, they look like a little, um, or even a black, a black border and a little tab top. They would look like those little, um, you know, those slides you used to put into viewfinders. So you could make it look like a little slide or you could basically make those squares into little specimen cards. But it is a beautiful book. It is absolutely full of illustrations. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plants. And there is... There is... If I can 
can get to the end. 275 pages of beautifulness. So we've got a lot of things to go with. Some of the pages are like this. So instead of going across the top, the long ways. Now, isn't that just a ready-made tag? Just cut the corners, straighten the top, and you've got a ready-made tag. Back it onto some card, tag, specimen card. But what's nice about that is sometimes when there's a plant there, there's one there on that side. So you're not missing out on anything. You can get two tags out of that one page. This is why I like this book. So it's not like I'm cutting that out and I'm missing out on stuff at that side because the opposite parts, you can get them both. So that's fantastic because you know what I'm like at making decisions, don't you? I'd be pondering for three hours over which flower to have. But if I want that one, it's okay because I've still got that one as well. You get them both, which is fab. You miss out on that, but you've got that on other pages on the ones that on the ones that go across ways. If I can find another across ways one. There you go. So on them, you can get that as well. And you still get bits of the other side as well. So that's that book, which I think was fantastic. And this one, this one's amazing. I love this so much. I can't tell you how much I love it. It was £2.41 again from eBay. But why do I love it? Why do you love it, Sue? At first I thought, oh no, it's all writing, it's just writing. Oh no, I don't want writing pages. Then we come to some black and white illustrations. I just actually bought um, some book pages off a lady on my Facebook group recently. And she sent me writing pages, diagram pages, and then full colour butterfly pages. And what was fantastic about them was there were two pages full of butterflies and the other sides were just plain cream perfect journal pages they are actually in my journal um but this one i love this i love it i love it because you know me i hate waste and i hate having to choose what i want look at this if we ever get there look at this how wonderful is that beautiful illustrations but guess what you don't lose a picture on the other side because it's the writing about the butterfly. So what you could do is make a nice specimen card out of that. Cut the name out. Swallowtail, let me bring you down a bit. So you could cut that out, put that on your specimen card. You could have the butterfly as your specimen and then you could have its caterpillar just down in the corner or the pupa, whatever you want. But yeah, every single page is standalone picture. We're just writing on the back so you're not losing any pictures, which that made me so happy when I looked through it. I was like, oh, I don't have to choose. Yay! <laughs> Such a happy girl. And it was only £2.41. If you're lucky enough, I mean, just look out for these books. Um, if you're lucky enough, you might find them in a charity shop for 50p or a quid um, if you know what you're looking for. So any field guides, uh, wildflowers, flowers, trees, butterflies, moths, whatever your field guide it is, you might be able to find them in charity shops cheaper. I only paid £2.41, which to be honest, when it's come and I've seen it, I actually don't mind paying that at all because I think it's stunningly beautiful. Um I don't mind paying that, but I will be a bit gutted if I go in a charity shop next where you can see it for 50 pence. <laughs> but I won't be too gutted because I've got it and it's beautiful. So, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you them in case you're eBay scrolling or anything. But I'm going to go now because it was just going to be a short video and it's turned out to be quite long. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little things that I did the other day, finished off tonight. And I'll be back again with some more ideas. Um, so sleep well. And see you soon. Bye.